The Volvo Car Corporation is now concentrating on a completely new technological future, where amongst other things, they will exclusively concentrate on four-cylinder petrol and diesel engines with considerably lower fuel consumption than today. Engines that in fact have a higher performance than today's six-cylinder units. At the same time, they're also concentrating on a completely new scalable vehicle architecture that in the long term will provide major production advantages. Downsizing is extremely important to cope with the CO2 and environmental challenges we have. We are all foreseeing that we need to achieve 95 grams per kilometer round about the year 2020. This is only possible with new technologies and with downsizing. Volvo, that is now consciously concentrating a great deal to become a considerably more luxury-oriented car company, sees no problems in that they, at the same time, build their future strategy based on downsizing. Quite the opposite, in fact. The new scalable vehicle architecture that simply explained will mean that it will be possible to build virtually all Volvo models on the same production line will give major economic advantages. I think uh that we made a good decision in deciding for an own Volvo cars architecture and platform. We will gain our uh, scale of economics by having this through the entire range of Volvo cars. The Volvo management feels that this new strategy is an excellent way to show both authorities and customers that this is the right way forward for the future. I think we have now a unique outlook where we want to have Volvo with being uh, one of the most uh, luxury automakers in the world and uh, where we want to be with our volume and with our profit situation. Um, we are aligned within the management, within the Volvo team, within the employees and uh, we have a great uh, motivated workforce and that's a strong, strong uh, advantage which we have. It's a very tough competition, but we have technology that gives us the opportunity to catching up and overtaking the competitors with what we are planning, including an intelligent electrification strategy. So hybrids and pure electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids are very much part of our strategy and the architecture is foreseen to enable these vehicles already very soon.